Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to create an easy spiral graph in Adobe Illustrator. I will also leave a link in the description if you'd like to get this project. So I have opened a new document in Illustrator. This one is 1500 pixels by 2500 pixels. I will take the star tool. So I will go to the rectangle tool. I click and hold and then I select the star tool. I click once on the empty space. And then I can change the size and how many points I would like the star to have. I will keep these settings as I edited them earlier. So 400 pixels for radius 1, 200 pixels for radius 2, and 4 points. Then I click OK. Next I will need to clear the fill color. So I will go here and I select none. And change the stroke color to gradient. So the middle one. On the gradient tab I will use the first type also the first type of stroke but I will change the colors so I double click on the first circle and I change the color to another one I will do the same with the other circle then I will go to the stroke here at the top I will leave the settings like that but I will increase the weight to 8 points now I will take the direct selection tool and I will go to the shape and I will click and drag these points. As you can see when I edit one all the others are being edited too. Ok so now I will take the rotate tool here and then first I click on the shape then I click and hold the option or alt key and I move the shape slightly to the right. By holding the option or alt key, this will make a copy. Next, I just need to repeat the last action several times. I can do this by pressing Command and D on the keyboard. If you're using Windows, you will press Ctrl instead of Command. And repeat it till you see a complete circle. You may notice that the lines will not be perfectly aligned. So in that case, just undo by pressing Command-Z or Control-C on PC. And move the first copy of the shape a bit closer to the original. This is much better. Now you can still change the colors or the weight of the stroke, but this was the main process of how to create a spirograph. Let's see now some variation of this effect depending on how many points you will add to the base star shape or if you change the rotation point. However, in general, I will use the same process.
And this was how to create this simple spiral graphic shape. Let me know in the comments below if you had any difficulty if you tried it by yourself. Until next time, keep creating. Bye.